Hello, hello everyone and welcome. Today we are decorating in the castle house that I've built uh, on a previous stream and uh, yeah, we're just doing the decorating side of things. So I'm just in the kitchen now and getting the decorating underway. So we've got a little bit to do. Uh, we've got like a sort of kind of earthy with pops of green, sort of creamy earthy kind of shades with pops of green. So I'm going to run with that. I think initially I was going to actually go through and change that, but I've decided that I, on second thought, I like it and I'm going to stick with it. Um, I was pretty sick when I built this the last, uh, it was a couple of weeks ago, I actually built this and I was very under the weather. Um, I had a pretty bad cough and I just remember I was trying to do like a giveaway and I was trying to talk and all I was trying to, uh, I was dealing with was just like trying to stop myself from coughing the whole time <laughs> because I was just like feeling really miserable and, and sick and I was trying really hard because I really wanted to uh, do the stream and I wanted to have some fun and really wanted to explore the castle kit and I, you know, obviously giveaways are a lot of fun as well because, you know, people get involved and, you know, it's a great time but probably not the best when you're under the weather I've got to say and unfortunately I was but I am feeling better now thankfully because it's like two two weeks later and I am uh, excited to actually well, actually not we might go green so no no I thought there's a different color in that I know imagining it um yeah I thought we could do a little bit of decorating and get this beautiful castle house decorated I'm not doing any limitations on packs or anything like that so we can just go hard so I think I'm pretty happy with how the kitchens come together we've got you know what we need a dishwasher and maybe we can put in like um something there maybe a, t a kettle let's put a kettle in as well so I'm gonna undo that and go white and kettle I do like the little kettles I think they're cute even though Farina's pretty glitched um I do like the building stuff and I will probably use like a lot of the building stuff down the line as a thing whether or not I use the gameplay I don't know I don't know I um I like the concept of the multi-unit like I don't mind it I just yeah, I don't know. I like the idea of just like having a different um, income stream and that sort of thing. I like the events and that sort of thing. They 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 make interesting gameplay, but hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, long term, whether or not it's something I would use a lot. I don't know. Hmm. I guess time will tell on that one. But yeah, when you're doing like different challenges and that sort of thing, um. It is interesting to bring like the whole rental unit aspect that come to, to bring it in and see how that mixes things up and because I've done that with like a few of my like gameplays like with my uh, 100 horses series I've uh, brought in a rental unit there so you know that's been and uh, that's been fine so far I was playing I am or I am playing the foreign aspiration on stream as well and uh last time i played it was super glitchy so uh that was concerning like it was really really glitchy like um it wasn't yeah i was just having so many issues with it as far as like um it's saying i didn't own stuff but i was living there and i was and it also at the same time it was saying that i owned it and i don't know it was doing some really weird things i'm hoping that next time i log in it'll be okay because I was actually quite enjoying it and we were trying to work towards becoming a five star property owner um, which should be a fairly challenging uh, challenge to meet although I've got to say like the last two aspiration things I've done like I did the home chef hustle aspiration as well uh, I did that as a series on my YouTube channel and yeah the last aspiration part of it was actually extremely challenging like i had to sell ambrosia but then i had to like make the ambrosia because i found some ambrosia believe it or not in a dumpster and then <laughs> this was before i realized what the, <laughs> the last aspiration would be and so i sold it 
to get the money because you can sell the ambrosia and it's like you get so much money for it <laughs> and then like um i got like a little bit further down the track and i was like oh no i needed that ambrosia <laughs> that i lucked out on and i yeah i completely stuffed it up oh dear so anyway good times so i had to go through and like make ambrosia and it was a whole thing um okay so what have we got here let's make this maybe we can put some lighting up um maybe one here and i'm thinking like maybe uh some wall lighting i'll try not to use like i always use the growing together lighting because i absolutely love that lighting the vintage sconce um but i do try to <laughs> mix it up and do, do like a different kind because yeah sometimes it is nice to mix it up and challenge yourself with something that you don't use so often but you know when you like something you like something right and you just want to use it all the time so yeah dear it's just one of those choices you have to make as a builder um and yeah it's actually really <laughs> it's a limited selection <laughs> Ew. maybe that uh, okay, so I want to have maybe a hall table here, and then we can do like the coat. Uh, I don't even remember what it's under. It's not under coat. I mean, there is that. Let's put that there. Uh, and I do want to have like the umbrella, obviously, from Seasons, umbrella holder uh and we want everyday clutter but i'll bring that in once i've got the whole table selected so we'll do that first whole table what am i gonna choose whole table we're going creamy right we can maybe do that one i hardly ever use that one maybe today's aim could be to use like a whole lot of stuff i hardly ever use <laughs> and try to make it look good i mean that could be a fun challenge Ooh. um what else we got i quite often use like the seasons mirror like i don't love the design of it but it's just it just seems it's a good size for a hall mirror and it always just seems to fit nicely over um hall tables so i do tend to use that a, a reasonable amount i do love the uh dream home decorator one as well i don't mind that one and um, there is like you know what mirror is quite good that I've only just discovered is quite good is if I can find it this one here so this one from discover university I like this mirror because it starts at the bottom and you can move it up so you can go like control nine and you can like move it up and there's like no other mirror as far as I'm aware that actually has that ability to do that so I think that's pretty amazing that we can actually move that around from the bottom and I don't know if I'll do this but yeah and you can have it like any height which is amazing and the thing is you look at it and like I think this is like the initial picture right and you look at it and you just go oh I don't want to use that because it's got like stickers and stuff all over it but there are some plain swatches as well so you know it's actually quite a good mirror and it's just i've just recently discovered this mirror <laughs> so i'm just like all over that because i'm like ah i love being able to move the mirror up from like the bottom and stuff i think that's fantastic so i love that um we can squeeze like a little something there and then we can do like the everyday clutter kit from here everyday clutter so uh, I'm going to get like show all because it just has all like uh, the perfect haul stuff that you can use. So like, you know, you've got your little letter rack and there's like the little bags that you can dangle, dangly bags. It's like little bits of clutter that you can put on your haul table. So I love this little kit. I think there's just like some really good stuff in this one and like the bathroom uh, clutter kit as well so like you've got your keys and this is a little coin 
thing as well. I might just change the colours on those. Uh, cute! Alright, so we've got like our first little hall area there. And then I want to have like a coat area. So I think I need to go into decorations miscellaneous for this. And see if I can find the coat rack. I think it's a seasons one that I'm looking for actually. Let's just filter it out. Then it just makes life easier. And yes, here it is. So it's a daring hall tree. I always forget the name of that. I'm just absolutely shocking with that. There we go. Daring hall tree. So we're going to do that. And I might move it over that way. And we can put the hanging coat rack there. Like that. Um, hmm, what should we do with the umbrella? I think that maybe needs to go by the door. And then we can do the shoes. I'll just take the filter off. So we'll do like the shoe rack here. Like that. And then, oh, you know what? We should definitely do the hanging coat as well. And put that there for the hall. I mean, that's a staple of any sort of hall area, really, isn't it? I mean, I know we've got this hanging here, but uh, we do have that hanging there. Hmm, maybe we could just do something like that. Like a little picture or something there. Cute. Uh, it's quite a large area in a blank space. So I'm thinking maybe a rug and we can do a table there as well. So I've got to think about what colour rug. Green. The problem with this is there is not enough like dark green rugs in this game. I, I was building with dark green the other day and I was just like desperate for like a dark green rug and I was like there's this one which is the best of the dark green rugs I love this rug from high school years it is amazing this rug here is actually really good from uh, my first pet stuff pack so we might do that um, uh, I mean that one's okay I don't love it but it's okay and then I think that's about it. Then you've got, yeah, this one here, the Brilliant Brocade. But you've really got to have the right <laughs> the right room for that one, I think. Anyway, let's, I'm thinking like maybe a round coffee table. We could go for like something like that. Definitely not going to have the rug that size. It's way too big. And the wrong size. One of these days I'm going to learn how to use tool and resize but I kind of love the challenge of like just using the game natively as it is without having to use a mod you know so I think I love the concept of mod, uh, of um, of tool but whether or not I actually want to use it I'm really uncertain on because I really I do like challenging myself like by building within the constraints of the game so I guess that's just one of my things, just being stubborn me, I guess. It's like, I want to just do this. You know what, actually that looks good as, as it is, as a size. Okay, so um, I'm thinking maybe we need to have like a wall like there, because it's quite dark. That should be good. And I guess we're going to work on our living area. What? We, oh, we've got a fire there. Uh, I've also I want to put in two fires and like have a fire in the living area as well and a TV over there maybe we'll change the colour though ooh okay that could work and then a couch over there I might just stick with creamy I was just thinking whether or not I actually do like green in the couch because there is like some nice dark green couches I think let's have a look but um I think I think I made that up in my mind <laughs> oh well that's okay um there are some really nice creamy couches <laughs> so let's just go with that I do love the Generamax one. That's from the book nook kit. Um, I actually really like the horse ranch bed and also the grow. I mean bed, couch and also the growing together ones are really nice. I think I need to go for like a slightly cleaner look. Uh, not quite that clean. Um, I'm thinking there's this one from Dream Home Decorator, which I really do like too. I'm really into Dream Home Decorator stuff at the moment. It's one of those curious things where you just 
kind of like get into a particular pack for whatever reason. And I love uh, this couch here from and uh, uh, Desert Lux. That's the Desert Lux one. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm going to do that and maybe we'll put that across there as well. And then we'll do like some seating here. Actually, yep, we'll do that. So, hmm, which seating should we do? Probably one of my favorites, which is we could go Book Nook. I do love the Dreamer's Chair, but I don't want to use that. Uh, and I do like these because these actually go really nicely with those couches. Um... I wish these were like, um, this pastel pop one was in just like a plain or white. Although I do like that it's a pop of colour. I wish the green though was like plain green and not like cow spotty. Uh, if I was doing a pink house that would be perfect. Anyway, we can maybe do like the green in like the armchair. Maybe one green, one cream. Change, will you? I don't think that's very visible, so I'm going to not put the TV there and maybe. Hmm, I'm just thinking maybe we put the TV actually. Bring that in and bring that in there and have like. That's kind of more cozy, I think. So maybe we'll do that. It does make the living area a bit cut off a little bit. But we'll work that out. We'll work that out. It'll be fine. And I love to put a giant TV in because why not? I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> I mean, technically I did pay for it because I paid for the game. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. My sims have to pay for it, not me. Um... I do like doing like the little nature's revenge table under here, like doing a double up of that. I think that's a cute way to get like a little bit of greenery in there, as well as have something under the under the TV. Do something like that, and maybe we could do like a feature wall or something. I'm not 100% sold on the wallpaper as I have it at the moment, but that's cool. Maybe. We could go back to back and then have like another one here and bring that in maybe a couple. That might work. Like that, like that, like that. Yeah. And do we have room for another seat over there? Maybe. We can bring in another green. There we go. Uh, we definitely need to have a painting or something above the fireplace. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm thinking something landscapey. There is something that I have in my mind. I just can't remember what pack it's from. This one. Oh, base game. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Um, rock wise I'm almost thinking maybe not green because I've got a little bit of green furniture and I think our options are pretty limited as far as green goes but what if we did like a dark brown or something or we could do the super fuzzy hmm. I think this is pretty unscented hang on what have I done I've done some strange things here. Let's go. It's definitely not seen it. All right, that makes more sense. That that makes more sense. We can put like a little end table in there. Um, I don't know. Um, you know what's really in this year for like wallpapers and stuff is going like floral. I'm just wondering whether or not I just try something really different for me because I don't often do like I do like a lot of paints but not a lot of wallpapers actually I quite like that it's busy but <laughs> I quite like it okay well I'm gonna do that um yeah I like it 
I don't know. I just like it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> change my mind and, you know, because most, most of the time when I change my mind, it usually takes me about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. I won't keep those all that color, but um, 10, 15 minutes to actually go through everything and try some different things out and like, and then I can't settle on anything and half the time I usually just end up back where I started and uh, yeah. Or like, yeah, it takes me quite a bit longer. I might actually do something plain behind there. Uh, what if we painted it dark, like just a dark green? That could be an idea, like that. Yeah, that's a little bit more soothing on the eyes, I think, when you're watching TV. Otherwise, it's quite busy. But I think it looks nice in the room as a whole, so I'm going to stick with it. There we go. Ooh. This is going to be a fancy castle house. Um, which means this... You know what? It's because I was going off that, and it was kind of off-center. There we go. That fixes the problem. Um, put like a little plant in there. And I was going to put like an end table between these two. With something on it. Something, 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 something. Uh, what colour do I want to do? Uh, probably a light brown. We could actually maybe mix in some metal. Uh, no. We are not going to do that. That's a bad decision. That kind of matches the um, coffee table, so I quite like that. I mean, the coffee table, I realise, is curved, but in terms of colour and that sort of thing. I think that works quite nicely. So I'm going to do that. Let's turn you around a smidge though, buddy. And nice bouquet of flowers. I'm thinking the wedding day. The wedding day. <laughs> the wedding stories one. And we do need a rug. I still don't know what I'm going to do for a rug though. So Ooh. let's see. I think because we've got such a patterned wall it, it would probably make sense to do like a plain carpet so I definitely want to do that it's just getting the shade right I think that might be yeah let's go with that it's just a little bit too blendy in the light it looked good but yeah a little bit too blendy so I'm thinking maybe we can put like a games table in this corner um, I wish the games tables were nicer colours, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, games table and some cute little chairs. What do we use for dining chairs? Okay. We use the same one here. Ugh, looks bad for the table though. Um, I think that's probably the only way to make that work. So, and we'll put like a little plant in the corner. Oh, what about a light? I never use like the freestanding lights or hardly ever because I, I always forget about them so maybe we should use one of those I love this like little basement treasures one but it is broken I want all the basement treasures stuff but like nice <laughs> like like a nice version of the basement treasures stuff that would be so cute there we go cute little light maybe I can push those back a little bit uh, we'll put something on the wall behind there, maybe. Could do like the big one. It's cute. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe the chest set there. And I'll use my favourite one because I can't help myself. And we'll use the non-nonsense non butt hugger chair. That's what it is. Okay, so I need something here. Um, I'm thinking like a shelf of some sort. So I'm going to go to my favorite little area and have a dig around. So what have we got here? Oh, we can use these. Um, actually, you know what? Why don't we do eco lifestyle shelves there? 
And what have we got in the way of freestanding? Hello, freestanding. What have we got? I need to use this more too. Because I do like it. I think it's super cute. You've just got to have it in the right space. Maybe we can find a place for that later. It's not right now though, because we need another smaller thing that'll fit in this space. What will that thing be? I don't know. Vanity table? No. Cabinet for days hutch? Nah. I want to I love this shelf, but it's probably just a little bit too big for that area. There's really nothing. Um anything in this section maybe I always forget about that section maybe we can put like that there oh a little book stack I definitely always forget about that I should use that as a decoration tool more often uh, who doesn't love a stack of books I love a stack of books it's better and then that works a little bit better with the uh fireplace there oh i haven't put like the fire poker and stuff there so it should do that she always use your little fire poker poke poke and since i'm using all packs may as well put the werewolf thing in there too i still don't know what i'm going to put here huh. Okay, we're going to scan down here and see if we can find anything that works. Come on, little decoration things. Help me out here. Uh, uh, I mean, we could have like an executive nectar cabinet. I kind of feel like that's more like a basement -y kind of vibe thing. You know, where you've got your little wine basement, wine cellar. That's probably the better way to put that. Ah, uh, a pocket fairy cabinet. If I've got this in a good colour, I'm going to go with that. That's just kind of cute and different. Um, Now, do I want like a little table in here? I'm thinking like maybe the Desert Lux table would like actually look quite cute there, but whether or not it's going to fill that space appropriately i don't know the answer to that yep that'll do the trick and we just put a nice bouquet on there of something and i'm wondering if we break up the wall a little bit with like a plain curtain i think that might be the way to go and then that breaks up the the wallpaper a little bit um And there. Do we need to put something? Might move these lamps down a little bit. What are we doing the bigger windows? Because they're so big. Hmm. Because I mean, if you, if I'm going like up, go up, go up, go up. Then it sort of starts to poke through. Yeah, see the floor. So that's really not going to work. I might just have to leave those plain as they are. Cool. All right, let's go upstairs. So what have we got upstairs? We've got one bathroom. I oh, know. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five bathrooms and four bedrooms. Ah, okay. Well, this is all a decent size, isn't it? Yikes. So I'm going to start with doors <laughs> because we've got to be able to get in the rooms. We really do. Uh, um, I love the Dream Home Decorator door. It's just you've got to be doing like a lot of Dream Home Decorator to really pull that off just because the colours are so off in that pack. That's the only thing. Um, right door door and then we're going to have a door and a door um door 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 and door so 
no balconies or anything no okay so let's just smash out the bathroom so i'm just going to do the little trick where we shrink down the basement i mean the basement <laughs> the basin uh, the basin uh. so we can use like um like the john is a good size a nice nice decent toilet but then we, yeah, we'll have to use this one i need to experiment a little bit more with like different basins that i can shrink down into that space but that's a really good one that's shrinking that, sh that can shrink down and is still usable after so that's why i like to use that one and then we've got our shower going in there and look perfect fit the mirror that goes really nicely when you shrink this down is actually the great wall mirror because it's flat against the wall and it actually works really nicely there uh, i'm going to use a bog roll and toothbrush holder on the back of the toilet yum yum and there we go um, that's not sticking through nope let's just have a look at a uh, quick look at that okay that can definitely go lower <laughs> oh got that with a view there there we are so uh hand towel hmm might have to put that in underneath um maybe no we'll just have to put that on there all over there uh and then we can put some a couple of towels there or a towel at least oh you know what i'm going to use this towel rack i do like this little towel rack that comes with the laundry pack okay and a rag so maybe i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking just base game in the little muted green no, no that's not gonna work that one there there we go cute so that's basically our format for the bathrooms pretty it's not i'm not gonna mix it up it's i just don't have room to mix it up unfortunately in this case it is what it is so we're going to use the john and just smooch it over and the basin wonder i imagine like this basin would be quite good i don't know if that one would work hmm anyway i'll stick with what i know i will have to experiment one day just to see which basins actually work nicely but I think that one might be the smallest of basins so it, you know it fits nicely in that shrunken space so you can do a two by two bathroom you can actually do like a one by two bathroom as well uh but not just not with a shower <laughs> you can't get the shower in there you can just have like a half bath with the toilet and the um what is it it's like that's the word I'm going for that's the word that's the word thunderbird maybe mix that up and do those cute little towels i don't know i kind of want to do like maybe a dark brown um i just don't think green's going to carry through that well in because of the amount of lack of the amount of lack of options <laughs> the, the lack of options in green uh that we have um unfortunately we'll do that that's cute so we can maybe do that as a blue bathroom i mean blue bedroom what if i went like hard on like the wallpapers and stuff oh baby oh yeah that could be cool so that could be blue and then maybe what was the other bathroom we did here green we could do that one in green and then maybe we could do like a couple with the tiger wallpaper just going hard on the wallpapers why not mix it up do something a little different i never use them so may as well try it why why not i say i say i say okay shower toilet maybe i'll mix it up and go toilet and then basin on the other side Ooh, fancy making it different Okay, I'm going to do our mirror and our clutter. Bog roll. 
Let's test. Uh, maybe we'll do some different clutter and do that. Now you can't put clutter obviously because you've shrunken it down um, on top of the sink. So that is the downside to obviously doing the old shrinkaroo trickaroo. But that's the that's the way things work sometimes when you're doing your trickaroos. Um, what have we got? No. Okay, there we go. Ugh, no. That's better. And just some towels. There and what are we gonna do for a rug? Hmm. Hmm. Raggy raggy rug. Um, where is that green? Maybe we can do that as the green tiger wallpaper. Let's have a look, see what we've got. <laughs> I can't do it. It's so ugly. <laughs> I can't. See, that's not as bad, like, because it kind of, you can't, I can't, still can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might have to do something. <laughs> oh, I can do. Uh, I do like this wallpaper. This is cute. That's from the paranormal stuff pack. Let's do that, and then maybe uh, in the darker. There we go. <laughs> I can't do that tiger wallpaper. I was gonna try, but I can't. It's, it's hideous. It's really hideous. Ugh. I'm sorry if you'd like the tiger wallpaper. Why is there so much green? Um, I went hard on the green, Vivi. Hi. <laughs> I went hard on the green. I thought, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to go hard on the green. I actually think it looks nice. It is busy, but I think it looks nice with the cream. So that's what I've done so far on the downstairs. And then I'm going to try and... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna change the wall in here I think um, I'm trying to do like fancy wallpaper and it might be it might be a fail we'll see how it goes but I was trying I just like you know I've got the stay core to the max wallpaper sitting there and I'm just like you know we're gonna use it like the roses is quite nice with the birds I think that's kind of pretty but the tiger wallpaper I just can't do it it's too hideous I mean in the right house, maybe. I don't know which house that would ever be, but I can't do it. Um, actually, that's quite nice. Maybe I'll do that colour instead. Do like the lighter blue. And then we can maybe do, I'm um, thinking like a creamy, a creamy, creamy something here. A creamy, creamy something. Mm, what would look, look quite nice with the green? It's very green today. I'm, a, I'm going hard on green. Why not? But, yeah. I'm always thinking maybe. Like I want to have like maybe a feature colour. Maybe we could do that dark green. That we had downstairs as our feature wall. Um, like that one. Hmm, I don't know about that. Oh, I'm already rethinking the wallpaper as well. <laughs> I want to challenge myself and do something a little different. Anyhow, let's get on and do this last um, bathroom. Oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it. Go hard. Challenge myself with like some patterned wallpaper. Because patterned wallpaper is very in at the moment. So, you know, you, I've just got to learn how to uh, make it make it work. Somehow, some way. But I think maybe sometimes moderation <laughs> is the key. <laughs> with like really super decorate, a decorative stuff. I mean, it is quite maximalist in its style. So that is a challenge in itself for me. Because I'm not... Mm, much of a person for me I like I prefer more sort of neutral stuff neutral tones and that sort of thing rather than going for the maximalist so 
yeah that is a little bit more of a challenge for me as it stands let, let it alone uh yeah going really really hard on the wallpaper so yeah i've got some challenges ahead of me as far as decorating goes uh so there's nothing wrong with that though it's good to be challenged i say i say i say i say i say but maybe maybe i can be a little bit more reasonable about how i do it <laughs> rather than just going ridiculously hard on all the patterns we'll see see how it looks in the end you reckon the bathroom should be green yeah the wallpaper you don't know yeah i don't know about that as well um okay well let's try let's try fluffing around and see if we can find like a nice green ta uh, tile to go with the to go in the bathrooms and see if we can like match the match the house uh yeah i went really hard on the green so i don't like that at all um i kind of <laughs> i hate the wallpaper already no i don't hate it i'm just i'm just unsure i'm uncertain so what have we got let's have a look in greens um now downstairs we've gone with like quite a Quite a bright green i actually i like that i'm i'm okay with this this is, i'm adjusting i'm adjusting we can maybe go for something like that possibly so that's from juggle adventure that could work you love the outside a lot <laughs> not the inside so much <laughs> but yeah i love the outside um of the castle as well our little castle house is quite formalish looking but you know we're, we're building a castle so that's going to happen uh i'm thinking that jungle, jungle adventure might be the way to go or we could go plain with that or we could oh we'll just go that okay oh you know what i think i've got a bathroom down here i haven't done oops okay well, we need to do that okay da -da -da. here we go All right, so we've got the vibe, um, and I might just change to a darker tile. There is a real lack of dark brown tiles, however. They're all like orangey rather than like dark brown, which is a frustration. This one. I'm not going to get a dark, dark brown. It is what it is uh where's that bathroom over here so oh that rug's sticking through a little bit hang on there we go i, I don't even think i've got a door into this okay <laughs> it's just a you can't get in there but it's a bathroom you know you can't get in there but it's fine it's the impossible bathroom no problem just have a weird door right there uh so it's just gonna be a weird long bathroom and hidden in behind the stairs because why not maybe this can be the butler bathroom because i of course i've got a castle i'm gonna probably have a butler right i think i've been watching too many very reruns of the nanny where of course there's niles the butler and it just seems does it seem normal to me they are they having a butler the answer is no it's not normal to have a butler but Ooh, this is quite squishy normally it fits a little bit better why is this not fitting so well hmm. okay i'll just go with the cheaper toilet in behind here seriously this is going to be like the the servant toilet for my house of castleness servant toilet oh no that's not gonna sit on the back of there okay well that's fine i'm just gonna put like a little towel there and maybe we could have like a nice painting on the wall there the sad toilet <laughs> yes it is the saddest of toilets <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh so sad oh dear poor sad toilet <laughs> it is the sad toilet oh funny <laughs> i'm not gonna find anything i like 
Uh, that'll do the trick. Okay, so there, and I'm going to do a rope. Oh, poor sad toilet. Shed a tear for the sad toilet. I know I was going to do a rope, but the towel fit better. And I'm going to probably bring that down a smidge. Where does the rope go? Okay, here. Whoop. And off the back of the door. There we go. There's our sad toilet for the servants. Our sad servant toilet. Um, okay, so this is how we're looking downstairs. I actually like that a lot. Upstairs, I hate. Oh, toilet paper. Oh. Okay, toilet paper, where are you going to go? I don't think I put toilet paper in any of them. Oh, yikes. Uh, I'm just going to put it randomly out there because it can't sit in beside it. Yeah, no, I haven't put in toilet paper in anything. <laughs> I completely forgot about the toilet paper. There we go. And down there. While we're thinking about, while we're doing the wallpaper, uh, the toilet paper, I'm going to think about what on earth I'm doing up here because I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just not coming together. And I don't know why I always do the base game toilet paper instead of the nice fancy to toilet paper that came with the kit. But I always just seem to gravitate to the base game one. I think maybe it's habit, but yeah. Alright. Upstairs is horrible. I need to fix it. I don't know how. Um, I don't want to do... Maybe we just go back to that, and I'm thinking different colour on the wall here. Maybe something creamier. What are our options? Ah, oh, I didn't do this toilet in the middle either. Oh, shoot. I forgot I had, like, a bigger bathroom to do. Oh. Oh, I actually don't like that combo, now that I actually see it. I'm going to go with that instead. And I didn't change the bottom of that either. <sighs> yeah, I think I might be useless today. Really not doing too well. There we go. Oh, we could go like a creamy, creamy tile from like, that might be better. From, uh, what's it? Home Chef Hustle. Yeah, that's better. Going creamy. There we go. So let's do our big bathroom and we're going to think about what we're going to do on that wall. Uh, I really don't have the answer. I mean, uh, colors on the wall. What am I going to do? Who knows? So, hang on, do, 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 do. might just go plain white. And we'll do a nice toilet there. I think we'll do a kid's room. So I'm thinking maybe like a potty. Uh, you know what? As much as I love that, it's actually really hard to give kids a, a bath in the shower bath combos. The babies and stuff is I found anyway from like gameplay and stuff that yeah shower bath combos I don't know why but it actually seems to be quite difficult to get the to get the parents to bathe the kids in it. it just always seems to glitch out so I don't know what that's about but it's just one of those mysteries of the sims you know you know you know there we go do a little potty there uh, and then I'm gonna do a little vanity thing here little vanity schmanity Maybe we'll use the Home Chef Hustle White. Here we go. Ugh. I wish like the walls, like the way that these walls, like the top, the wall up view. Like, oh, I get why it's not though. Like that in build mode, like the wall up view would be like the wall that's in the room that you're doing so that you can actually you know i don't know i don't know what i'm saying but yeah i wish i wish i wish a lot of things 
but I wish wall up there was, I don't know, the building hold building thing was like easier to use. I guess is what I wish. That node is actually really low, which is why I like it for like when I shrink down the basins, but when it's like <laughs> on a full size like uh full size basin, it's not so good. It's really low. But hey, it does its purpose where it needs to be done. So maybe a couple of those there. Uh, I'm not going to get any clutter in because I've done two sinks and they're very kitcheny sinks too. I'm just going to do the round ones because they're really, really the only ones that are particularly bathroomy. Okay, so we're going to do our towels on the wall Ooh, and I'll do that above the bath. I just wish there was a white in this, but I do love it so. That's one of your favourites, White. I'm excited to see what new packs tomorrow. The, are we getting like, what? What's happening tomorrow? I am so out of the loop. So what's happening tomorrow? Are we getting like an announcement on new packs? Oh, are we, are we, are we? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm excited now that I know about it. <laughs> I have honestly been paying zero attention to uh, news lately. I, I, mean, I mean, I know I should pay attention. But I don't. I've been busy. So, you know, one of those things. But yeah. Oh, if there's a new pack announcement tomorrow, then yes, I am very excited about that. I'm just going to double it up. Why not? Because I always love to know what our new packs are and that sort of thing. Because we've been sort of speculating um, about what the, what the packs are, obviously. And what we're going to get. So... Ooh, new pack announcements. It's a Sims birthday, so they're doing a giveaway and telling packs with more. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, better not be a hot tub. <laughs> I honestly, I'd be okay with a hot tub. <laughs> as long as it was a good hot tub. It was like a bad hot tub with like, you know, with a roof on it. Like we got last time, then yeah, no. But I mean, a really nice hot tub would be great. But it would be great if it was like something of a little bit more than a hot tub. I agree. I agree. Oh, but yeah, that's exciting. So Sim's birthday and we're doing, they're doing a giveaway and talking about packs. Wow. Okay. So I've got to like, I haven't even like been on Twitter this morning. So, I mean, I posted quickly about the fact that I was streaming and then that was it. As far as, um, yeah, I haven't caught up on Twitter because it's Monday here in New Zealand. And a velvet be busy on a Monday morning. Because Velvet has cleaning to do and kids to get to school and then I've got to, and then I just get home and jump straight into streaming. So it's like, ah, uh, busy, busy, as you do. Um, oh yeah, I want to go creamier on the walls, but I actually, I think I want to keep this dark green. I mean, this, this green pattern. I think I like that, but it's this wall here that I need to go creamier on and then... Oh, baby, I don't know if I can do this wallpaper. I, I want to try. I want to try. I want to try. But I don't know if I can. It's just, it's so busy. And like the whole, it's like the feature wall is out, but and the, and the, the whole uh, trend for 2024 is like going hard, particularly in bedrooms on like going all florals. So oh yeah it's definitely going to be a trend um that i want to try and capture but whether or not i can actually do it i don't know i don't that's kind of boring i want a cream but i don't want it like really boring cream i want maybe something with like a little bit of texture or something to it whether or not i'll get what i want i don't know <gasps> oh i can go to Generamax. hmm Maybe not. Oh, I know, maybe. What about that? I think the light's too light. That's too orange. I'm almost thinking maybe I changed like the flooring through there to like a uh, carpet. And I can get start my carpet rant again of the fact that we just don't have uh, much in the way. Oh, we no uh of good carpets in this game because <laughs> we don't Ugh. 
this might have been a bad idea okay that could work so we've got our doors we just need like a couple of couches and stuff up here oh for rent yes for rent does have a good hot tub i like the for rent hot tub i think that's really nice um yeah i agree it's a really nice hot tub i was actually really happy with that i think like we've come a long way in the sims since we got that birthday hot tub let's face it we've, we've done a lot in that time and we've come a long way so you know i would expect something a lot nicer than what we got <laughs> last time as far as like the birthday hot tub goes so yeah i would i would expect better than that because i mean you know all the all the building stuff and stuff that we we've had in recent times is far far better than what our earlier experience with the sims was with building content so yeah i don't think we're going to get anything hideous <laughs> she says now <laughs> but that's my hope anyway i don't i don't think we would so i mean time will tell obviously uh, but tomorrow will tell in fact so i imagine they dry on carpet always in tile sometimes what dries on the carpet Oh yeah, I th I think they they um listen to our feedback like a lot more, um as far as you know the, the the feelings and the and the thoughts of the of the Sims community. I mean, is a lot more heard. I feel like, although sometimes I don't know if that's a good thing because sometimes they make odd decisions based on some odd um some odd ideas. I guess why not? I guess it's not odd but you know like how they've put up the bills I mean they've they've stopped the bills from going up you know with the um what should we call it the what's it called the thermostat that's right so you know so we no longer get the increase in bills from using the thermostat whereas uh for gameplay wise like a lot of us are just like well it actually makes the game harder the whole the whole point is like sims is quite easy in and of itself so it's actually quite hard, uh, quite good to have some of these challenges, you know, things like the um, the increase in bills and that sort of thing, to have those as part of the gameplay. Like even if you like take it away, give us the option of having it, you know. I think um, just the fact that they just took it away without sort of um, really saying anything about it, it's just kind of like, eh? well, what'd you do that for? Because you know higher bills is is a good thing in a lot of ways because it just presents a whole other challenge for us as players um but that's why i think i'm such a gameplay uh, a, a challenge game player hang on does that sentence make sense such a yeah such a challenge player uh when it comes to sims 4 because i do find i, I struggle with like doing legacies and stuff i tried it and I enjoyed it, but I got bored at a certain point. Like, I couldn't go forever just working through a, a legacy because, yeah, I, I just get bored. Um, I want, I need something a little bit more. I like a challenge and I like specific goals. And that's just the type of game player I am. I am and that's, yeah, it's just the way of things. So, thank you. I appreciate that you like the rooms coming together. I think we got there in the end. You know, it's just a process sometimes. I've got to trust the process. Um yeah it's just i i am a challenge game player and that's just the way i am so i like I, and i think the sims just it does manage to cater to it a lot a lot of different types of players because i mean you've got the players that like the rotational play gameplay and um you know legacy gameplay story gameplay and that sort of thing and then you have like players like myself that prefer um challenge gameplay and stuff and that's all stuff that and it's part of, of a community um you know we've made up a, a lot of those challenges like the 100 baby challenge um rags to riches and all that sort of thing so and i think it's quite cool how sims as a game actually has the flexibility for us to be able to play our way there's a a company in new zealand um called glassons and one of their like one of their logos 
back in the day, I don't know if it's still their logo, I have not paid attention, but um, their logo used to be, you know, wear it your way. And that's kind of how I sort of see the Sims, is like, you know, it's wear it your way, but play it your way. So, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about the Sims, like play it your way. And I like the flexibility of that. I can't remember how I got onto that subject, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's where I got with that. Okay, I need one more thing over over here. I'll use the elephant. There we go. And this room's come together quite nicely. That's, you know, quite a nice little living area. It's got a warmth to it. And we've still got our green. Now, now, now. We have the thing of, can I make this work? <laughs> I think if I put, like, curtains up, right? And bed. They're not, like, the biggest bedrooms, but I think that's okay. So I think maybe we'll make this the blue room. Because you know how like in the old manners and stuff, they would like often call like rooms like by names. And, and specifically like a lot of them would be colours. So, you know, can you put her in the blue saloon, please, while I get my hair in order? You know, that sort of thing. So um, I'm almost thinking that's too modern for that vibe. Um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking for the castle like you know we take them to the blue bedroom or the uh, green bedroom or whatever I'm almost thinking maybe a couple of those might change because we might do like a couple of or at least one kidsy kind of bedroom um, 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 I don't know if I should go white maybe actually we might you know what I'm gonna go white on the bed because I don't want to yeah there we go it's going to be too much otherwise if I go blue but if I like counterpoint that with white I think that will work really nicely so I'm going to do that it's going to be white and blue and I think that way I can calm it down there we go and then we can do cute little light shades Maybe something a little more traditional like that one. Ooh, and then we can do like a white curtain. So we'll just do the old go-to curtain. You know which one it is. Desert Lux. Although that's not white. That's kind of... Ooh, it's not white white. It's kind of yellowy. Ooh, I might not be able to use that. Oh, hang on, is that that? Oh, hang on. It's because I stacked the wrong one, guys. Don't worry about me. I actually... You know what? I don't want to use those in you. I don't think it suits. Ha-ha! I am not for once using those curtains. I just think we need something like a little bit more... Traditional looking. Oh, yeah. These ones, perfect. That is from the, was it the vintage party or the luxury party pack ones? There we go. And that tempers, I think, the the wallpaper a touch. Um, so, we need something in behind here, a picture of some sort. Yeah, that's right. They always describe the room to their butler or the maid or, or whatever as a particular, like, colour or something. It's just like, show her through to the red room, you know? And that's just, like, how they – because they've got so many rooms in their house, right? So it's like, you know, they have to have, like, names for the houses or the names for the rooms because they've got so many rooms. It's just like, oh, oh, the privilege. Oh, the privilege. Lucky, lucky. Uh, that kind of looks weird. I don't know. I kind of, I, I, I have to go plainer behind the back. What do you think? Let's, let's just try it out. I want, kind of want to go like a dark blue in behind here, just like a plain dark blue, because it's too busy on my eyes. Uh, let's see how it looks. Anyway, let's test it out. Like do a plain dark blue, and then having that. I know. Uh, it was just too busy. It was too busy. I think I have to go plainer. <laughs> I can't can't do it I've, I've almost done it but not quite I'm trying so hard to use this wallpaper I am I actually like the wallpaper as it is 
but it's just I find it difficult to use as a builder so that's the that's the thing it's just like finding a way to use it actually you know what I'm gonna use that and there we can use maybe Ooh, yeah okay and then um, I'll do a maybe a blue well let's try a white rug and then if that's not any good we'll go blue no I definitely like white and what else we got so I think maybe like a seat under the window hmm or a dresser let's see what we've got in the way of dresses you know I, I actually didn't realize that uh, you could shrink dresses down and they would still be functional so I am absolutely delighted to discover that because that is going to be definitely a little thing I mean obviously if you shrink them down you cannot put things on top so that is the only thing but at least you've got like a functional dresser in the room which I think is quite cool uh, and then we can do like a little couch on the side I'm thinking oh what about if we go like this one are the colors gonna be any good I don't think so rats I love that couch though from high school years I think it's a very cool couch but in this instance it's not going to work but that's okay yeah I think I agree I, I that's what I loved about the curtain as well I think the desert Lux curtain I think that was because it was like such a flat curtain it just didn't really fit the vibe of the room whereas like with that it does suit that like slightly more traditional vibe of the of the room <laughs> I've done my best to hide the wallpaper I've just realized <laughs> that's what I've been doing is like I've been finding ways to hide the wallpaper god I'm shocking uh, I've got to highlight the wallpaper not hide it silly me okay anyway I think that's pretty uh let's put like a little chair in this corner as well like a little dressing chair I'm actually thinking the modern lux one actually might be quite nice because it's like a little uh vanity type chair that i feel that like they would they would use back in the day yeah i think that's cute okay you know what i'm actually really happy with that bedroom we need something for there but breaking up the wallpaper with a feature wall did help me quite a lot <laughs> so yeah i can't do I, I, I might have to build up to doing a full floral wall I think like it, it kind of depends on the build but I think because like in a cottage I can I can do it but I don't know in other rooms I was just a struggle for me Ooh, what if we did that because it is a castle you know okay and I'm thinking maybe like a plant on the wall as well uh not that one actually this one And I'm also thinking just like a little small one right there. There we go. I'm happy with that. That's actually really cute. We get there. We get there in the end. So I'm almost thinking maybe this one could be like a single room. I don't know if I want to do like toddlers and stuff. I did put a potty in. So I could. I don't know. Um... There we go. Uh, let's go. Maybe a different bed in white. I'm almost thinking, like, with that wallpaper, you could probably get away with, like, a, not that bed, but, like, um, a cream rather than going white. Maybe we could try that because you've got the kind of the cream touches there. It actually might work quite nicely to go, like, a creamy kind of shade, like that. I don't know if that about that bed, but something that colour would actually work quite nicely. We could do that. That's quite cute. Um, you know what? Actually, I quite like that. And we could do, like, do the darker wood rather than the lighter wood, because I always like tend towards doing like the lighter wood, but I am trying to do better with the darker woods at the moment. Um, there's a light brown in 
these kittens. Let's see what we got. Uh, here we go. Kind of. Mm. There is another kitten that is kind of. We could go like the, with the pom poms. I don't like the pom poms though. I mean, I love those kittens, but if they didn't have the pom poms, I would probably use them more. Not gonna lie, I would use them more. There is um the these ones here, but I don't think the colours are gonna help me there either. We could go like those. Those also the colours not gonna help me there. There is these again. No, with the colours. Too raggedy. Um, what's the pack? These ones, the movie ones. Like that. We could get away with that, couldn't we? I think so. There we go. And what colour? No, change the side. There we are. Oops. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Now, we need a side table and a little bit more. Cream, yes. Okay, cream, yes. I agree, cream. Let's mix it up and have a cream. Uh, so let's go... Is there a uh, Realm of Magic matching table? End table? Let's see. There is. Because, I mean, I quite often like to do, like, the matching the matching set the reason being is that because of that the if we, if you got something with wood particularly um no, i won't do two but uh then it will actually then match like the wood the woods will be a match whereas like if you go with like a different set you're not always guaranteed for the wood to you know match because it's the sims and you know you don't have matching things all the time <laughs> Sadly. Ooh, cute. Actually, I really do like that lamp. Maybe with the brown? Yeah, with the brown. Um, okay, so I'm doing a writing desk. Desk. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe with a little laptop. A little lappy. And let's go back into Realm of Magic. Can we get a nice chair? There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. So, maybe we could put, like, a hanging bookshelf in behind here. Go that one. And then we can go like that. And create, like, a little bit of a shelf in behind I might have to use a different desk I am going to have to use a different desk um, let's go with that one and then we can go like that and go. so then you know what I'm going to do I am going to use this thing here bump that across like that Get my books and move my desk because it's going to snap otherwise and fill up the bookcase just to make something you know a little bit different like a little hanging bookcase in behind there that looks like you know not quite the same as what you might have in the game on the standard da 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 it's always nice to mix it up you know you have these little tricks that you do so look at that and we still need a lamp for beside there so let's find ourselves a lamp we could always get away with like something i really like this cute little thing from werewolf pack and i think the colors actually kind of work so i think that's cute and something light brown i'm going to tag light brown get that in that pack always has good light shade woods. Yes, it does. Yeah. I agree. We're going dark though in this one. Dark shade woods. But yeah, there's some really nice, really nice woods in that pack. 
Oh, here we go. That one. No. That one. Cute. And we can do like a little. How much space we got there? No. Not going to get anything there, but we will be able to put like a cool full dresser situation over here. So we'll do that. Uh, get rid of the light brown. Hmm. We could do like the machino. Something like that. And then. Put that on the side there. Like so. And we can do like some shelves above that. Like that. You can always tell when I'm concentrating because I always stop talking. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to get this. Yeah, and we'll do some shoes. Oh, that's not how you spell shoes. The only problem is when you're like doing stuff like that, you do need to watch um, other snap points because uh, when you're having to put these on here, you've actually got to drag forward quite a bit to be able to get to the right spot. Because if you don't drag forward, obviously it's going to sit halfway back through the wall. And uh, yeah. So you've got to really watch uh, having the little clip points underneath. But nah, not a big deal to change that. And decorations. What we got there? Mm. Hmm. I need some nice clutter. Maybe we'll go to that one. That would make more sense. There we go. Dream home decorator, your little gem. Okay. There we go. Put that back. And we've got hanging stuff, we've got a cupboard, I mean drawers, and we've got some shelving. So, perfect. Is there a nice yellow? No, a bit too bright. There we go. Do, 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 do. We need a rug under the bed, and that's our last thing. Now, oh, I know what rug I want to do. I think this will work really nicely. I want to use the high school, uh, the high school years rug, and I want to use it in a yellow, like that. Yeah, I think that works. I don't think that painting works. I'm gonna get rid of that, but um, yeah, that rug works. Let's see if we can find something better in light brown to go in that space. Oh, it's just a little bit too busy. Ooh, we could go werewolves. Ah, my kingdom, my kingdom, my kingdom for a decent picture. It's so hard to find a nice picture. Ah, oh, you know what I actually might use is the pastel pop. There's like a light kind of, it's, I think it's actually apricot, but it's kind of looks like a light yellow. Like that one. I think that one there. We'll do that. That's cute. Oh, do not make that one bigger, by the way. Ha! <laughs> no. Okay, so we've done two out of four, and then we're going to do another double bedroom here with the wallpaper. Uh, so we're going to do this as green. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do this green and pink. Looks cute. Yeah, I think it looks cute as well. It's a cute little room. Although, why did I do this all lot? Hang on a mo. Ugh. Okay, that ruins it. Like, I did, like, all this dark furniture and I did that, like, all <laughs> light. I was like, why did I do that? Oh, I was thinking, like, creamy, but yeah, like, this furniture needs to be <laughs> darker. Ah, <laughs> oh, the wait. 
anyway i'm thinking maybe pink and gold and like we ignore the green altogether elsewhere like we'll use green as like the background color but maybe we'll do like the bed like pink and like we'll accent that with like the gold i think that would be really cute so let's see the trouble with pink is that you do need to balance it out and make sure that it isn't like super cutesy cutesy unless of course you're going for super cutesy cutesy we're not going for super cutesy cutesy so we're going to be we're going to balance it out but yeah um i do love pink though oh that could work because it's got like the gold on it as well I don't think there's going to be anything that's better than that. I mean, there's that. No. Okay, sold. For sale, sold. Uh, now, I'm almost thinking like the metallic would actually look quite nice like this. And like we bring in like mixed metals and stuff. Um, maybe we'll bring that over one. There we go. Ooh. I haven't worked with pink in a while. You know what? I'm going to do like a stupidly pink house one of these days. And that'll be amazing. Oh, yeah. I haven't done like a stupidly pink house in a long time. I think I'm due. I think I'm definitely due to do like a stupidly pink house. Actually, I'm thinking like the lights. Maybe I'll go yellow. What have we got? Shh. Yep, that works. And then maybe also like a painting in behind if we've got anything that would work there. That would be really cool. Dusty pink. You think I should go like a darker pink? When I size up that painting, I hide it with a dresser or plants. <laughs> That's a good idea. Barbie house. Yeah, I, I should do a Barbie house. One of these days. Something ridiculously pink anyway. That would be fun. I love a bit of fun uh, when it comes to building. I wonder if there's something like plainer in the wall hanging side of things. That might work. Ah, oh, man. I wish there were more options for sorting. I really do. It would just make things so much easier to find, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Like quite often, like a lot of the whites, because of the way the lighting is, it, they they often look like quite a white, like a off white or sort of yellow anyway. So sometimes you can luck out with <laughs> whites and find something quite cool. Uh, no, but maybe that could go over there. That might actually work in... No, I think that needs to be white. Um, 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 um. Ooh, romantic. I need to use that more. That would be good in my like ridiculously pink house. I think that would be quite cute. I don't know. I might have to go like green behind there <laughs> and get rid of like the wallpaper behind there. I just I don't know if I can do it. I'm always breaking out in the sweat trying to trying to have the wallpaper going all the way around. It's so silly. Ah, uh, I am not doing well. What if we had that? That's kind of cute. And then I need like a couple of things hanging down. Maybe we could do like a plant hanging down. And then I'm um, thinking. Oops. It was right there. Shoot. The dine out hanging plant, which I could never find. I just got distracted by something else. There we go. I can do it. I can do it. I can leave it. Ooh. 
Mm, no, I think I'm gonna stick with the little little thingies. Um Oh no, I didn't put like the Okay, I left that blank. I'm just thinking okay, I left that blank. Okay, fuel. I was just thinking whether or not I put the um the dresser in front of that when we did that other room, but we didn't, so fuel. Now we're going like quite metallic with the accents for this, so I'm thinking maybe we've look at a, like a dressing table that has like a bit of metal on it maybe that one maybe that one Ooh. no uh pink oh i don't think i've used that dresser before <gasps> i like that Ooh. Maybe we could go uh, Modern Luxe, because it's got the, the little pink accents. And then we can do like a little mirror above there. Is there anything in a pink that would work? This one. So lift that up. And then we do like a little couch. I just have to keep that door clear, so maybe, um, maybe we'll do an armchair. The pink goes good with the wallpaper flowers, so you don't have to change anything. Yeah, that's what I think as well. I think the pink works. Pink and the gold without going like too hard on the green. I think that works as well. Ah, oh, you know what? That works. Oh, well, curtains. Okay, curtains, curtains, curtains. I'm actually thinking um, the same... Let's try these. I think those would work. Yeah, I think those work nicely. Uh, where's the other side? That's what I want. And like that. Yeah. Cool. It's very soft and girly, but that's cool. There's nothing wrong with being soft and girly. I love girly things. I'm a girly girl. And I don't mind admitting it. I think we can fit like a little plant in this corner. Shrink that down a little bit. There we go. And maybe we can put like a little end table there. And put a tray on it. I'm going to use this one. because I know it comes in pink and then we're going to do like a little book tray this one here oh I didn't want to really do that in pink though it's too much pink otherwise oh cute okay so uh, that doesn't work on that wall that's fine I do need something on this wall what's it going to be what's it going to be I can put a giant TV on there <laughs> that would be great. Um, what have we got in giant artwork? Like, if there was like in a softer yellow, that would be like amazing. As it is, that's too bright. But yeah, I wish like these painting like swatches was like nicer because it's a really good size. This one, but the swatches are difficult. And there's also the get famous this one the get famous one um, I think maybe we could get away with that because it's got the pink in it or you know what I could do I could do a big bookshelf because they've got like their little reading thing there so a bookshelf could work Ooh, a bookshelf. That's a nice space filler, isn't it? A booker shelf. -er. Just find something that suits the vibe of the room. Um, is there anything like in a nice light yellow? <gasps> we could do like the metal ones. Ooh, that could work. Because that kind of works with the vibe of the room. And you know what then I'm going to do? Uh, I just had a thought. 
stone surfaces and we'll get like this little shelf here so move that across actually that doesn't work but this works I think maybe we'll do that and then I'll just put something there okay let's do that that's a bit of space taken up oh I know what I'll do tell you what these little uh, photo frames are a little lifesaver as far as decorating goes sometimes now what should we do for a rug I'm always thinking like yellow again but I've already used the the high school years favorite one so we'll try to find something else maybe that actually I'm thinking maybe this And we can do it like on a side, on the side, so that it can be seen. Yeah. Okay, cute. Last bedroom. And then we're done. We've done really well. Well done, us. Should we do a kid's, kid's room, like a toddler room? Painting TV. Oh, above the bed. Yes. Or on this wall. I'm going to put it above the bed because I think actually that would really suit. <laughs> and light a frame. There we go. Ooh, fancy. That works better. Um put a potty in I'm gonna do a toddler room why not toddler room time <gasps> I might go hard on the my first pet in the yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go super hard on those now as far as colors go I don't know let's just see what we've got in the way of furniture but I'm gonna do uh, cats and dogs if I can find cats and dogs and my first pet kids room and just go hard on those three packs in this <laughs> because um, there's some really good kids stuff in there so why not now there isn't however a toddler pet <laughs> all this wonderful kids stuff and there's no toddler bed in there so colors 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 I'm always thinking like hmm better colors on this I was thinking like going like like turquoise like going like a brighter blue would be quite cool with this it's just like the contrast color so like going with like that and likewise ooh here it was like a little plane look at that and then we can like oh whoops i wanted to change that not that and we can sort of do like turquoise a sort of brighter blues and like yellow i think that would be really cute in this room so i'm gonna do that that's the plan we'll see what how that eventuates but that's gonna be my plan i think that's gonna be a really good color palette oh cute we could do like a plain theme like oh yeah plain theme cute <laughs> I'm just gonna be amused by the decals I wonder if I could put something underneath that there's so many cute little decals oh, <laughs> oh I don't use these enough they're so cute anyway back to the furniture um I'm gonna get distracted otherwise so I do a little toy down here what else we got traveling trunk toy box that kind of has like a bit of the turquoise on it so maybe we'll do that under the window oh we need some curtains what have we got in the way of curtains um kids room yeah I love a good kids room they're fun to make 
because you can get like quite bright and creative which i think is a lot of fun um i'm thinking maybe these because we've gotten like the side and all of the other all the other rooms so it kind of makes sense to do like these little side curtains again down down go down there we go um what was the curtain rail there's a blank like um i know modern lux has one there's another uh i don't know i'm just thinking i wanted to connect those but that's just uh, yeah not gonna work okay that's fine we could always, you know what i could do actually thinking about that i could just go like that and then like that that's a lot of curtain <laughs> but it does solve the problem yeah that'll do uh okay what else we got so we've got a cute little desk i definitely want to have a cute little desk and we'll go blue and green cute little desk for when they get older uh maybe in beside the bed nah i think maybe in this corner here maybe like that move that over and we've got the matching chair yes we do what else we got statues um yes i actually really like this little sectional chair i think it's super cute and i actually want to use this uh in a, like an actual i don't know proper room or something sometime i think it'd be lovely oh drawing chair tier, there table activity table that's what i'm going for oh that's kind of clipping through the wall oopsie i might have to not put that on an angle and then we can put this in behind the side here, like that. Oh, they're not going to be able to get in that bed, are they? Hang on. Switch that around. Switcheroo. 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 Yeah, there we go. And then we'll lift this guy up. Woohoo! That's going to be so cute. And we need more stuff for the wall. So what else have we got for the wall? Gonna put some cute things all over the walls. Yeah. Don't forget the rug. Okay, I will not forget the rug. I will get the rug. We will definitely come up with a rug. Hee <laughs> uh, hee. And what about if we did like... Hmm. No, maybe not that. Do I like better colours on this one? Ooh, that could work for the room because that kind of goes with that one there, so that's cool. And I kind of want like another. Oh, we haven't done a growth chart, so we'll do that. Actually, we'll put that in the middle of the wall. And hee <laughs> hee, I love that little growth chart. That's so cute. Grumpy cat, odd or cute little dog. And maybe we could do, actually I'm thinking like a shelf or something here, if there's anything sh shelfy. Is there a little shelf that I could use? Ooh, little plant. That's an option, I guess. got a trophy shelf i don't think toddlers are going to have trophy shelves though somehow i just kind of have this feeling from being a mum and knowing my children and how children work that toddlers aren't i mean i guess it depends on the parent <laughs> at the end of the day Ooh, we could do a clock yeah maybe up there and i do really want to put like a shelf with some maybe some <gasps> bookshelf we haven't done that so let's do that in behind there 
There we go. Get my dog, move them over. I still want a shelf. Still not satisfied that I don't have a shelf. I've never used this Brindleton be like this um this light house light. So today I'm gonna use it. And uh maybe we can put like a little cuddly toy in there. Can we chip them down? Cute. And we definitely need a rug. Um let me get out of these and I'll just see what we've got in the way of a shelf and the surfaces. Push the right thing. So we're going to move that there and then that up there, that over more. <laughs> it's just like, it's just making me laugh. So that's the main reason I'm keeping that there. It's just amusing me. Uh, so we'll do like some toys scattered around the place. So we'll do like meow, the tuk tuk, and the kitty. And I just need like a little computer in there. Color are we? This one here. And then we're going to pull it all together with a rug. Oh, we can actually put something at the end of the bed too. Ooh, what do we got space for? Uh, maybe we can shrink down a little dollhouse. I love that dollhouse, but it's very big. We'll do the ranch one instead because it's got some good colors. There we go. And rug. Ah, oh, dear. Now I'm thinking yellow for the rug. But what have we got? Go flower. I feel like it's more masculine though. So I want to go maybe like a little boy's room. Hmm. Might be easier if I just go yellow. What have we got? Yellow flower. We've got yellow frog. Uh, I don't like that rug. I wish that rug was nicer. Like the colours are really off. We could go rainbow. Might be a bit much. We could go like large printed rug. No. Although I do like that rug. a little bit too orangey hmm go bright pink I mean bright yellow with the polka dots oh that's bright but I don't hate that I might actually have to move that because I don't think I can actually access that door Uh, we'll put another toy in beside there. There we go. Um, do you like that polka dot rug? I actually quite like that polka dot rug. I think that's quite cool. I don't think there's any other rug that will be that all that'll come close. It's bright, but I think it works. Yeah, I look, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep it. I like it. Yeah, it brings in the yellow. Could maybe, uh, I think if we change like the colours and stuff, it'll be too. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So, I think we've done everything. Let's take a quick tour of what we did. I remember to save. Ha ha! I remembered all on my lonesome. Amazing. So let's take a tour of our house and see what we did. So this is our castle house. And I think it's really pretty. I don't know if I want to change the plane, like the plane areas or not. 
I think I'm okay with the plain areas. I think it just makes the the brickwork of the the castle stuff stand out, and I think it works really well with the green hedge and like all the sort of more formal greenery around it because it's kind of the kind of house where you would expect it to be a little bit more formal right so I think that makes sense and then we've got the side doors going down into the into the little yard areas because we've got like the little seating areas there which makes sense and then it's all just pretty plain around the back and just simple as far as like the shape and stuff goes but it's got that sort of battlement castle feel to it which I think is really cute Whee! And of course, I think, you know what? The star of the show is the windows. Ugh, I hate when the windows do that. So, you know, they just really bring out the bring out the build, I think. The lovely windows. I do really like the windows. I just think as far as like everyday usability goes, I would probably use other things on the castle estate kit other than the windows, but I actually really like the windows. They were the first things that first things that really stood out to me about that kit. But yeah. I don't know how, how often I'll be able to use it. It kind of just it does depend on the on the build at the end of the day. So let's go down to our bottom level and take a wee squiz at what we did. I don't think I've done ceilings, but that's okay. I have not done ceilings. So this is our entrance area. I think the green and the cream works really nicely. And it's sort of like you've got a little touches of the darker brown with the, with the windows and that sort of thing too. So I think that's quite nice. and then we're going to go through to our kitchen so i think i took was the reason i did the way i did is uh a because we've got the windows breaking it up but b like it's really on trend at the moment to have out of the box storage so not having like all your sleek cabinetry walk, working across the room it's all about having like mixed things like shelves and hutches and little islands and that sort of thing for your storage for kitchens so i think that's actually pretty cool i might there we go give us a better view and I will put some ceilings in, I think. Uh, I think like a nice stone ceiling would actually work really nicely. So I did like the separate kitchen hutch there. And then we've got like the little dining area, sort of mixing it up with the dark green. And like, a, <laughs> I like how I've got a TV there, but there's like probably zero way that you're ever going to be able to even see that TV above the fireplace. But anyway, it's there. The Sims will make it work. They'll just stand there and uh, watch it anyhow. So that is our little kitchen area and then going through the living. So same sort of colour theme again. Uh, we've got the cream and the green coming through and a little fireplace again. TV and I did put like a dark green feature wall in behind the TV. I just felt like it needed a bit of relief from the pattern. So I just wanted to bring that in with that there. And that's the other side of it with our chess table and our gaming table. So there's some really good family time. And sneaky, sneaky in here, we have the saddest bathroom in the world. This is our servant bathroom. <laughs> our bathroom of sadness. Uh, okay, let's go up to the second level. And this is the stairs going up. And then like each of the corners has like a little book area. So I've just kept it sort of pretty simple, like a couch and couches and books and just making it super cozy as far as like reading and hanging out goes. And of course, like I've used the cats and dogs paintings in the background with the different little pictures because they actually work really nicely there. So in the middle, we have a bathroom. So I've used the Ain't So Slate, Ain't, Ain't so slate uh, bath, uh, Little John toilet, and uh, I think it's the Pegasus shower and just little bits and pieces and i just kept it pretty simple and white i felt like that was a good contrast and worked really nicely with the jungle adventure wallpaper so i thought that was pretty cool and then let's go through to our bedroom so i'm trying really hard to work on my pattern work so it's accepting that we will have some wallpaper <laughs> <laughs> with floral patterns because that is very in for this season and I, I am trying to um, be a little bit more conscious of trends when I'm decorating and that sort of thing and just make it you know very on trend so uh, bringing in mixed metals is an on trend thing as well so this is part of that room so I went full floral I'm very proud of myself I actually did it 
and we've got sort of a loopy uh, drapery which I think looks really nice and um, I, yeah I just kept the green simple and it's just in the background of the wallpaper and then we just brought out all the pinks and the golds in the room so I think that was really I think that's super cute I think that's lovely now all the bathrooms upstairs are basically the same uh, in the sense that they've just got like the uh, toilet shower basin and that sort of thing there so I won't go into all the bathrooms because they're basically the same but oh, let's go check out the next bedroom so I think this is going to be our kids our little toddler room which uh, is the room that we just finished and I think that's super cute so we've done like a little bit of a flying kind of mechanical theme and I did gear this more for a little boy so it's kind of the idea it's super cute and uh, just used a lot of the cats and dogs um, and the My First Pet stuff pack, uh, a little bit of parenthood as well. So just use those packs as the main packs there. Uh, so bringing out the, yeah, just keep the, like, the background wall, like, you know, because it's a, kind of a dullish blue and then just popped it out with like the turquoise. And I think that's super cute. So I really like that. And just like pops of yellow. And obviously we've got to use the bright yellow uh, floor rug which I think just brings out the yellow in the rest of the room okay let's go across to the other side of the house zoom go across here and then this is our other single bedroom so this is more sort of like a guest room or maybe this could be our butler's room <laughs> and they have to use the stingy toilet downstairs so uh, just sort of the lighter sort of turquoise ish kind of uh, wallpaper and just like a little custom wardrobe there using the Machino uh, hanging rack and uh, I think it's Discover University um, whatchamacallit uh, dresser that's it and we used the Rump Magic bed and the chair there and we made like a little custom bookshelf so I think it's super cute I don't know about that this painting I think I need to put a different painting in there and then on to our last room this is our bedroom with the blue so I did a blue feature wall behind the bed just to break it up I kept to white as much as I could in the furnishings just uh, to not go overboard in the blue and then we used the uh, decor to the max blue uh, flower and bird wallpaper around the rest of the room and I think that's that's looking really nice I'm very happy with that and uh, we use that was it luxury party or the vintage um, stuff pack curtains I think the vintage stuff pack and I think they actually work really nicely if, if there have been like um, other colors in those curtains I probably would have used those all over the house because they're absolutely gorgeous and I think they really suit the vibe of the house oh you love it okay fantastic oh great I think it actually came out considering where I was at the start of the build um, I think it actually came out really nicely so I'm super happy with that so I am gonna put that up on the gallery for you guys and um, yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the build so this is part two where we decorated and we did uh, the build on the exterior in part one and I will have both of those up eventually on my YouTube channel as well if you want to catch the catch the build at a, a later date as well if you didn't catch all of it then uh, yeah you can do that thank you so much for watching VV appreciate it and thank you for everyone else who came along and joined in I really appreciate you too. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.